Hello again. It is Sunday, uh, April 5th. Yeah. I gotta say, um, I'm really glad some of you guys took kind of a liking to my uh, Mom Food Chronicles video. You know, it really is. I mean, I've been, I mean, with everything going on, I've actually been seeing my folks lately, and therefore I've been having. Sorry, I left. Uh, I left, I left my windows open just because, uh, just for once, I wanted to hear the sounds of nature. Because uh, I don't know if you can hear, but you can hear the sounds of uh, birds chirping, which leads into a very nice story. But I'll get to that a little bit later. Anyway, um, so figured, you know what? I'm gonna have a bunch of my mom's cooking lately. When I talk about like why I what I what I what what of that food I had growing up, excuse me. So. There's plenty more where that came from, but don't worry, you're, you're not gonna get another one like right now. Trust me, because you either would get sick of it, of hearing about this stuff all the time, you would actually try and make too much of it, just repeatedly, or you'd probably end up doing both. I think that works. Good morning, happy Sunday, everybody. Yes, um, so, you know it's funny? You know, speaking of Sunday, just um, just on Friday, like the day before yesterday, yeah, 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 Friday. I said this, like I talked about, you know, with everything going on, no quarantining, social distancing, yada yada yada. I mentioned how, you know, Lent's actually gone by pretty quickly, so much so that we're in the last week of it. I completely forgot to do my yearly spiel about what this weekend is, because it's actually a relatively special weekend if you are a Christian, you're Catholic, and you're doing Lent right now. And that this week is Palm Sunday. Now, I don't... I don't really know all the significance of the palms themselves, but... What happens is Palm Sunday is a very special service. You know, it happens, you know, like just like you'd have go to every other week. But the major reading of that, of the, um, of the service is known as the Passion of the Christ. And yes, I am referring to the Mel Gibson movie that came out in the early 2000s. I think it might have been like, like actually 2000. I think, or yeah, it was, I know it was early 2000s, but yeah. Um, and for those of you who don't know, that movie actually got quite a lot of controversy because at the time it was the highest grossing movie of all time. It really was. A lot of people were going to see it. And, for a lot of people, it restored faith. For other people, and I can definitely see the argument on this side too, it stereotyped the Jewish people. I'd rather not go into why that is, but yes, that's that's kind of you know what it did. Now, personally, I never really saw the movie myself. Partly because, again, I hear this story once a year, every year. And seeing as how I am Christian and Catholic, I know the story practically by heart. Obviously not word for word, because, you know, there, there are several different iterations of that story in the Bible. But, um, you know, I know the logistics of it. I know what happened, so there really isn't any need for me to read too much into it. So, with that said, you know, if for whatever reason you're going to watch or read anything that has the word passion in it, just watch the South Park episode, Passion of the Jew, it's funnier. And it was on the Nostalgia Critics Top 11 Best South Park Episodes, which the Nostalgia Critics said is really saying a lot because, I mean, with a really good show, you're going to get like, you know, a top 15, maybe top 20 episodes. 
But with South Park, it's going to be like top 30, top 50. That's how many good episodes there are. And not only was Passion of the Jew on the top 11 best South Park episodes list, it was actually number 5. Yeah, that's, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Right behind the Imagination Land trilogy, um, uh, Woodland Critter Christmas, All About the Mormons, and number one was, and I can't believe I'm actually saying the title of this episode, because I can't believe anyone would title this an episode for anything. Number one was Osama Bin Laden Has Farty Pants. I'll put a link to the uh, to the top 11 South Park episodes list in the link in the description below, so you can get a look at what I mean. Technically, I just spoiled the latter half of it, but maybe, I mean, I'm sure you would like to see what the first six were, right? That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, right? Anyway, um, so because you couldn't go to church, I knew I at the very least had to get palms for my grandmother and grandfather, and I actually got one for my brother as well. My, my brother, my sister-in-law, and my nephews. So I ended up going to church, and I'm thinking, okay, there's gonna be like a table you can just you know, grab a, a palm and you know, pick it up and take it home, but no, they're all outside in the relatively nippy, sort of windy weather. So they looked completely wilted. Um, so, I guess it saves the church the trouble of having a work of waiting until they're wilted for what they do with the next one of the palms. See, believe it or not, whatever palms they don't use, this is actually quite neat, they actually burn those palms and use them as ashes for the next Ash Wednesday when Lent starts all over again. So, nothing goes to waste. And considering that lots of people are staying inside, I don't think you really need to worry about having too many ashes. So that's, that's nice. Um, so, let's see. What else is there? Um, well, last night I stayed with my uh, folks again. You know, was, you know, spent the evening with them. As well, I can you now. And so, last night we actually ordered elbow room wings. Yes, the elbow room. I love the elbow room. It is that and Bernie Murray's, the two best places for wings in the entire area. And don't ask me, you know what? It's funny. My mother was actually asking me this which wings do you like better, Bernie Murray's or elbow room? And I'm like, Mother, that would be like choosing between both of my nephews. And she's like, really? Like, it gave her like a little like. Yeah, so my usual from the upper room is pretty much the exact same as Murray Murray's. I get an order of wings and fries. That's it. That's all. Although because they, see, the problem with getting takeout from upper room or places like the upper room, I, I never had takeout from Bernie Murray's before. Because every time I've had Bernie Murray's wings, are always have fresh. But because of the fact that you get stuff in styrofoam containers and stuff like that, you know, like the extra crispiness of the wings, you don't really get that anymore when you go all the way back to my parents' place in the Big Flats. So, a bit of a sad rise. Although, one, um, one interesting thing I did take note of, and this was always true, whenever we did, like, bring Elbow Room home to, uh, like, because when I... Back when I was a kid and I lived in Big Flats, I was a lot closer to Elbow Room than Bernie Murray's, so I didn't really have Bernie Murray's all that often at all. In fact, I dare say I've probably been to Bernie Murray's more times this decade than all than probably all the other times of Elbow Room combined, and, and then probably all the other times of the Bernie Murray's combined. Seriously, like it's a pretty low number. I'm not gonna lie. So anyway. That's how much I have an elbow room or very merch. But again, you're not choosing to do them both. Um, so, I definitely had a uh, wonderful evening with my folks. It was nice, it was wonderful. And uh, I ultimately decided to uh, 
Kind of stayed, stuck around for a little bit, hung out, watched uh, a little bit of TV. It was nice. And, um, yeah. Honestly, uh, darn, there was actually something I was going to talk about, wasn't it? Oh, right! The sounds of birds chirping. Well, actually, it does lead to a really nice, um, actually, I'll get to that in a second because I was going to talk about the significance of this shirt, particularly for this weekend, because I was a senior in high school when we did the uh, performance of Godspell for the spring performance. And one of the main lines in that movie is uh, the where one of the characters holds up a, a shoebox, a Reebok shoebox, and you know Jesus Christ in the movie says, Rejoice! And then the uh, guy says, it says Reebok. We actually rewrote it so it's where the guy says like, it says Nike. By the way, this video is no way in any way, shape, or form as far as my Nike. This is just a really old shirt I have. But yeah, it was nice going down memory lane thinking about that. That's a really good theater. Now, one of these days I really should talk about doing theater, like some like theater stuff. I pretty so yeah, more mom, yeah, more, more of the mom food chronicles and a title that's yet to be determined for theater. So, um,. I guess that's I could talk about a nice story about birds chirping, and that's um at the end of my freshman year at Gettysburg College, it really wasn't that great for me. Like I said this before, but I really wasn't very good in college. In fact, I almost flunked out. And so around this time, I woke up one morning, and I heard a tapping on my window. Now at the time, I had the habit, this is before I got into the habit of like leaving my uh, blinds open to let sunshine in, but I heard tapping on my window, and no kidding, it was a little yellow bird. Just a little cute yellow bird. So I called my mom, told her to come in, and she's like, oh, it's a nice little bird. Hello little bird. So, yeah. Honestly, it was a. I mean, my mother told me because my mom knew what was going on with, you know, how bad things were going for me at the time. So, I don't know if she made this up, or I don't know if it's actually sort of a true thing that people believe in. But when a bird approaches your window so like that, and it's like a little yellow bird. It's supposed to be a sign of like good things to come. Now, since then, I haven't really had an occurrence like that ever. But I do believe that, you know, some good things are meant to be. Sorry about that. Maybe I should. Yeah, actually, it's starting to get a little nippy. Maybe I should probably close the window a little. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so. I think, I mean, it would be kind of silly for me to believe that just the instance of that little yellow bird showing up on my window would lead to me making videos one day. But between that moment and now, lots of good things happened. You know, I, at that point, you know, I had never ran a marathon and I ran four of them. I never did a hundred mile bike ride and I did four of those as well, all within the same year as the marathon. Yeah, the wine glass marathon and the Tour de Cuca are actually like not even three months apart from each other. So, I guess I do deserve a little bit of ignorance, I suppose. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what the future is going to hold with all this coronavirus and stuff, quarantine, everything. And I can't pretend that it's not going to get worse before it gets better. Because with our luck, that's exactly what would happen. But I think if we can just keep a chin up, we got this. We just got to take one day at a time. By the way, it's taking me all I have for me not to like look into any kind of spoilers for the One Piece manga chapter this week. 
because the official thing is not yet. And I've been hearing a lot of good things. I can wait until tomorrow. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, 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 Instagram,